Hello everyone, I'm here to explain you about my research topic. So, let's start. My topic is about teaching intercultural competence through critical intent. My research aim is to explore the ways of teaching intercultural competence through critical incident, to search for critical incidents that happen in real life and to create activities that increase students' awareness of attitudes and behaviors that might be critical. Why did I choose this kind of topic? Because nowadays many course books focus on language teaching ninjas, but this term culture is being ignored day by day. Even if there are culture corners, most of them are about visible cultures, such as the music, art, literature. However, the belief, behavior and attitude are not being taught at all. For that reason, this research paper is significant because the result will reveal that intercultural competence can be taught within the language. My research topic is based on that kind of questions like first, how to develop teaching intercultural competence with critical incidents, what kind of activities and techniques should be included in ICC lesson, and how critical incident can enhance intercultural competence in the lesson. Let me give you some definition to the word culture. According to Hofstede, culture is the collective programming of the mind which is distinguishes the members of one group of category of people from another. Or, uh, according to Clay Gramsci, culture is a worldview, a common system of standards for perceiving, believing, evaluating and acting. What is intercultural competence? Intercultural competence is the ability to function effectively across cultures, to think and act appropriately and to communicate and work with people from different cultural backgrounds at home or abroad. And my research topic is based on Byram's model. And according to Michael Byram, the learners need to have a good command of the foreign language in order to become an international speaker. And they have to develop linguistic competence, social linguistic competence, and discourse competence. But in order to it, to be able to communicate effectively and appropriately in intercultural communicative situations, learners need to develop their, their intercultural competence. And that is why Bayram's model of intercultural competence is divided into four groups. They are uh, knowledge, skills of interpreting and relating, and attitudes and critical cultural awareness. What is critical incident? Significant critical situations containing misunderstanding situation turns out to be puzzling or ambiguous for at least one of the people involved. Bennett's development model of intercultural sensitivity. This model charts the internal evolution from ethnocentrism to ethno-relativism within the context of intercultural interactions. In order to successfully navigate intercultural situations, Bennett posits that a person's worldview must shift from avoiding cultural difference to seeking cultural difference. Sir Geert Hofstede uh, conducted one of the most comprehensive studies of how values in the workplace can be influenced by culture, and he um, he divided his studies into uh, several parts and uh, several dimensions like first one is power distance index and second one is individualism versus collectivism and um, masculinity versus femininity and long-term orientation versus short-term normative orientation and uncertainty avoidance index and indulgence versus restraint about my research methods I made some kind of analysis and all of my uh, informations were taken from Byram's model, Hosted's dimensions and Bennett's model of intercultural sensitivity and search for critical incidents or a story that happened in real life, in, my, in our real life and discourse analysis of the critical incidents and creating activities and search for additional ones and design self-made course book for one lesson. Language objectives of the lesson. Grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, speaking, reading, listening, writing, and um, 
all of my students, all of my pupils are uh, the begin, uh, not beginner, uh, elementary level of level of pupils. That's why I have chosen this kind of easy easy grammar tasks like articles or non articles and vocabulary, and collocations, words connected to ICC conflict. Definitely, probably, and likely, unlikely, and pronunciation, pr pronouncing vowel sounds and speaking, discussing the text, role plays, uh, and reading ICC extracts from real life, listening, uh, listening to non-native speakers, and writing opinion essay about critical critical incidents or students' reflection. Except learning objectives of the lesson, we have got also the main part of my research paper is. I see objectives of the lesson and they are knowledge, skills and attitudes and critical cultural awareness. Knowledge is about Chinese and German culture being aware of cultural similarities and differences in terms of communication of both cultures. In order to properly ins uh, properly explain about my uh, less less about my lesson about my critical incident i would like to tell you about my critical incident which i have chosen for my um, for my lesson for example there will be a task about uh, about one boy uh, about exact about german boy who uh, went to China to study and then uh, in China uh, when he was sitting in a local restaurant um, uh, somebody um, Chinese um, one Chinese man came and uh, sat next to him and um, they were very uh, close friends uh, one of them was German and one of them was um, Chinese and then they decided to go to the mountain and of course um, German people are very like mm, mm, they German uh, German uh, nations are very uh, strict person as we know and um, and they uh, they decided to go to the mountain and to have more fun together and then uh, after that, they went home, and then uh, after one day, uh, after one day, when a uh, German student was waiting for for his Chinese friend, uh, somebody knocked the door, and when uh, this German guy uh, went to the to open the door, and he looked, uh, he saw his friend, his Chinese friend, but uh, not only him and also uh, several uh, a group of Chinese uh, people and uh, these German students were very shocked uh, he was very aggressive because uh, because the day before they were they, they agreed to go to the mountain just two of them but here he saw a group of Chinese men uh, with his uh, with his Chinese student, with his Chinese friend, and he was very shocked and a little bit aggressive, because, uh, because, um, and of course that kind of criti uh, critical incident happened at that time. But this kind of situation was very normal for Chinese uh, students, but uh, it was not normal for German um, German guy and that kind of uh, that kind of critical incident I have chosen um, as as a text for my course book and of course according to that kind of text according to this kind of tasks there will be a lot of uh, like spelling or uh, uh, a lot of speaking tasks discussion tasks or uh, grammar task or vocabulary tasks and also so on Skills of describing and interpreting this incident to their own Kazakh culture, how would they react if they were Marcus or Chen Lin to ask students whether the situation be similar or completely different? Skills of practicing communication and relationship building skills with Chinese or German people through role play. Attitudes how to cope and behave in new culture if students were in shoes of Marcus or Chen Lin 
to teach students qualities as ambiguity, tolerant, risk-oriented, open-minded, and non-judgmental to teach students how to behave in collectivist and individualistic situations. Critical cultural awareness of evaluating attitude and behavior of both sides as well as their own culture examine what makes the incident critical, what is the issue, get students to identify similarities and difference of both cultures. This is a course book. The critical incident was taken from the internet and here I I am sharing with you with my course book uh, which I made during my research paper. In order to raise students' awareness of other cultures and teach them how to cope and adapt in a new culture, intercultural competence should be added as fifth skill of language to the teaching process. Self-designed course book material will be helpful not also for students who go abroad to study, but also for everyone who communicate with members with members of other culture. Learning objectives include both language as well as intercultural competence. For the implementation of our project work is well-designed course book and also to create a teacher's book. And uh, I want to prove my, um, prove my project uh, with real students in my real life. And also uh, I want to add more exercises, more um, informations into my course book.